Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the new save file. Let's jump in again and oof, a streak is building. Crazy. Ooh, we're playing as the Hollow. It's been a while since we played as the Hollow. Um, this character is kind of interesting. Some of you have pointed out that he's a little bit iffy just because he doesn't have a ton of synergies. Uh, but I did go and add a ton of synergies to modded items. Nothing like bespoke. It was just taking synergies that already existed and adding them to items that were befitting of such synergies. So there's a little bit more going on with this guy. He's a... He's a potentially interesting character. Uh, as some of you said, he doesn't have a lot of synergies, so it's not, like, the best for the series. But I enjoy playing him now and again. And I think as long as we don't overplay him, he's kind of a fun addition. Um, and I don't think we've ever played him at all. I think we've only played him, like, once or twice since we added him to the series. Um, so we can, we can play him again. I do enjoy a little bit of Hollow. But yeah, like I said, he has some synergies that affect the way some of his flies work, especially in terms of inflicting status effects. And I went through like all the modded items and added my own synergies. Uh, it took a bit of doing. It wasn't the easiest. Uh, it took a little bit of understanding the, the lure code, which I'm not particularly familiar with, but I got, I got there in the end. I got there in the end. Some, uh, I got a little bit of help from some other modders as well uh, over on the Discord. So it ended up working out. But yeah, essentially, for those of you that haven't seen this guy yet, he is someone that cannot fire. He just has flies. Um, and he can get synergies that change how his flies work. There's some really interesting bespoke synergies, and there's some others that are just like adding status effects to the flies and stuff like that. Um, they're the more common ones, obviously. But like stuff like Brimstone does some cool stuff. So we'll see if we can get any of those. Like I said, though, the only issue is because of that... Um, the, the character really works a lot better when you're playing with just vanilla items. When you introduce modded items, it can cause some issues. But, but, we should have an okay time. We're mainly looking for uh, tiers ups. Because I think, I think is it is it tiers ups or HP ups? One of the two increases your amount of fly counts. It might actually be HP ups now that I think about it. Um, so, we want to be kind of working towards that. Now, these are particularly quite annoying enemies here. Um, this room in, in particular is not great for us because it's just a lot of spiders. Um, we can get through it though. And yeah, obviously increasing our damage is very valuable because that increases our flies damage output. You can see that as base we only have three damage with each of our flies. So our damage is exceedingly low. Um, so anything that could up that a bit would be lovely. Um, I'm trying to think of what items would be good. Like... I don't know if Proptosis would work with this, but like Polyphemus would be insane. Ipecac obviously would be really good. We had that in the last episode. There's a lot of good choices for this guy, to be honest. There's a lot of good choices, but just any basic damage upgrade is going to be lovely. Um, these ghosties are going to be really annoying here. As you can see, at the minute we can have a maximum of five flies. So I'm trying to gather all those up and then run into enemies once we've got them ready. We can so sort of aim where our flies go by shooting at them, but it's not super accurate. Go, flies. Yeah, we got him. And we'll check what's going on here. Do you know what? Bumbo is probably a really good one to grab. I have no idea what that is for 50. That's, that's kind of crazy. Bumbo is probably a really good one to grab here because now we have an alternate method of dealing damage once we get him leveled up. So whenever we get money, I'm going uh, to let him take it so that we actually have some alternate means of dealing damage because I think that's going to be very valuable for us. Um... As for the question of the day today, oh lord, as for the question of the day today, have you ever had a crime committed against you? And if so, what was it? For me, it's, it's like, reasonably simple. When I was, like, a lot younger, I don't remember how old, um, a friend of mine, an ex-friend of mine, stole, like, 30 or 40 pounds from me. It wasn't, like, a serious crime, but obviously it was, like, uh, what the fuck? But yeah, it'd be interesting to hear if any of you have had a have had a crime committed against you. That's a question of the day I don't think we've asked before. But yeah, I think we're definitely looking for a HP up in here. Um, I'm pretty sure HP ups increase the amount of flies uh, we can have. I'm, I can't remember exactly how it works. I think, I think HP up increases the amount of flies we can have and tears up increases the generation of said flies. So either or is pretty good. Now this is actually a pretty annoying boss without having a bomb here because the more, um, the more friends he generates, the harder it's going to be for us to deal direct damage to him. I really just wish we had Bumbo leveled up at least once, but alas, he is just ahead. He can do no harm. Luckily, we got a good amount of HP here because I'm taking boo damage. 
We're getting there. This guy definitely starts off very somber, slow, not very easy to play. But he, he really can pop off in the end. He's kind of like a potential walking guppy uh, right off the bat. So he can be really fun. We need another one of these locusts. The, see the green one that we've got with us. We need another one of these. Yeah, don't, don't be spawning stuff on. Oh, no. Yeah, the, these enemies are absolutely tragic for us because they're just going to keep spawning stuff. Don't spawn another fly, please. Oh, dude, the spider. I can't get away from it. Come on. That <laughs> took forever. Hey, HP up. Okay. Yes, that did, it did indeed increase our fly count. Very lovely. Also, we just kind of needed the HP as well, so definitely can't argue with that. In terms of... Um, Completion marks, we can go light path here, or if we go like beast or whatever. Come on, money. Present yourself to me so I can uh, get some stuff going on with Bumbo. I would absolutely love that. But yeah, now it means we can like generate a full suite of seven flies before we go into a room. We can go chill out here. There you go, we got our flies ready, and then we can come in here. Ow. I was going to try and use that bomb to get into that chest there, but... It kind of blew up before I got the chance. But yeah, you can see now, we're doing a little bit more on room entry. Obviously, once we get into the room, things are still a bit slow. But like I said, I'm pretty sure tears up would uh, would help us alleviate some of those issues. More locusts as well. Dude, where's all... Like, I swear, when you, when you want, like, keys or bombs, every single room drop reward is a penny. Now I've got Bumbo, not a single penny in sight. Not a single penny. There you go. It's only one, but it could, it could do something good for us. We'll see. Hey, there's a bomb. I'm going to go open that golden chest because that could have more money in it. Um, I could also do the donation machine and blow that up, but it's not super worthwhile. Hey, crawl space as well. Um, I mean, not really what I was looking for, but I, I, I will take it. That's not... <laughs> no, I was expecting that to go. Ooh, we got Plum Flute. Unfortunately, it requires three bombs, though. I very much like Plum Flute, but for three bombs, that's quite a cost. This guy is going to be a fucking nightmare. <laughs> oh, God. This guy's going to be a real pain in the ass. There's just a lot of bouncy boys going around, and we've not got really much way of dealing with them. It's going to be intriguing, to say the least. we just got to bide our time and hope we don't get bashed against. Luckily, the small guys go down in, I think, two flies. No, three, unfortunately. Still, that's pretty quick. Oh, is it four? Wow, okay. Maybe maybe I was wrong. It's going to be a long fight. But like I said, he does start off fairly slow, but he can, he can really ball out of control if you get, like, damage upgrades and stuff. Just hoping we get those. I think we're going to have to go Angel Deal with our current HP right now. Come on, you. Take out the little one first. There you go. And we're on the home stretch. Give me Shoop the Woof. That'd be lovely. Yes, baby. Yes. Now, the only thing is Shoop the Woof does do damage based on your own damage, which means that currently it won't really do too much for us. Um, you can take that, my good little lad. Hey, you're finally grown up a little bit. Oh, dude. Trying to get this green fly to hit that fire is a nightmare. I'm not, I'm not going to bother doing all that. Good, good. Soul heart. A few pennies for my, for my good lad. My good boy. Yeah, so this is going to do relatively low damage, but it's not insignificant. Uh, spawns copies of all trinkets currently held by the user spawns. A random trinket if no trinkets are currently held. Uh, I will I will do this. I want a random trinket. Eh, no, actually, it's not very good for us. I, I don't want to attract coins. Nice. More keys. Item-wise. Explosive enemies die in their own. Explosive enemies have the weakness effect. That's actually not terrible. I quite like that. Grab that. Hey, a puzzle piece. I do not mind that. A pet. And we, we do now have six, uh, three bombs if we want to go and get Plum Flute. But I actually think this will be better for us. So Let's go to our shop as well because we got a ton of money out of that quarter there. 
Um, unfortunately, nothing great, but we could get some extra money for our fella here. Yeah, yeah. Keep that up, sir. There we go. We've leveled him up a nice amount this floor. Very happy with that. He is going to be our knight in shining armor throughout this process, I think. Keep that up. Yeah, let's see what sort of damage this does. Yeah, you see what I mean? It doesn't do a lot, but as our damage goes up, its damage will go up. And it's one of those uh, items that, like, I I've still been watching Dark Viper AU play through Isaac. And every time he sees Shoot the Whoop, he thinks it's terrible. Because the first time he got it, he had very low damage and it didn't really do much. So he has no idea that it scales so well. It does seven, seven times your tier damage throughout the duration of the beam. So it's really, really strong. Um, it never used to be like that. It used to be a set amount of damage and it used to be very, very low. But yeah, it got made to be very, very good. Um, and it's a shame that he doesn't understand that what he's, see what he's seen of it in, in the past isn't actually at its full potential. I do want to bomb this guy, but he I know that he'll just teleport the moment I place down a bomb. So I'm very reluctant to do so. Did you just... Where are we getting these coins from? Oh, wait. Ah, I, th I think one of the synergies I added... Was if you have the quarter, your flies have a very small chance to generate a penny on hitting an enemy. Uh, I think that's one of the synergies I added. So that's pretty useful. Oh, come on now. That fire didn't hit me, even though I walked right into it. Shush. I'm going to have to pause after this boss fight. Let's wait and see what item we get. Okay, one second. Okay, there you go. Apologies, my nose was bothering me. Anyways, down we go. Down we go. Really hoping for that damage up as soon as we can get it. Sadly, the black heart we got from uh, the, the pin, safety pin there, didn't do anything good for us. Getting a lot of golden chests. Bumbo doing a great job here, just sitting behind some rocks and firing at nothing. Gotta love him. Gotta love him. He is what we call a trooper. See, we're only getting like one kill at the minute, but... Get a damage up to like five, and it'll be able to it'll be able to kill bosses. Oh my god, my dodging skills at the minute are abysmal. Oh, so the key this this enemy is going to be absolutely horrific. This entire room is going to be horrific, to be honest. Okay, no, we got it. Good. I was really thinking that was going to be a lot worse than it was there. Bumbo, grab coin. These mushrooms are going to take a while to kill as well. Oh, dude, the fucking spiders. Because I have really low damage. I keep expecting them to die before they get near me. So they, so when they're, like, running towards me, I'm like, eh, not to be concerned. They'll just die, and they, they don't die because I don't do very much damage. Bumbo, can you, like, sit somewhere where you can actually hit things, please? My god, you chubby little fuck. Come on. Not to fat shame you, but can you get off your lard ass and do something? My good god, you ball of butter. Okay, bubbles are particularly annoying as well, because bubbles class as enemies. Meaning that my, um, my flies will target the bubbles, which is real frustrating. Yeah, these guys are taking forever. Yeah, we, do, we definitely do have the ability to... Gain a penny at random chance. Must be from the quarter. Maybe it's from Bumbo. I don't know. I added synergies to so many things. I don't remember what I added it to. It might be Bumbo, actually. Oh, dude. These flies. Uh, these, sorry, bubbles are getting real frustrating. Just, just hit the goddamn enemies that are real. Thank you. That's very, very good. One room charge for our shoop is huge for us. Doesn't solve every room, but it does make some rooms significantly easier. Don't, don't do too many more bubbles, my good guy. It seems to be Bumbo hitting the enemy that spawned the penny, though, so... Maybe it is, but maybe that's just something Bumbo does. Maybe that's just like a default ability of this level of Bumbo that I've just never noticed before. That's also entirely possible. Okay, 
Okay. Very careful here. There's a lot going on. I wish your little helmet not broken yet, guy. My guy. There you go. Some spiders there for us. Rooms like that where we can like just take out the full room in one fell swoop. Oh, so satisfying. Right, keep pushing on. Still, unfortunately, doing the uh, annoying thing of accidentally going right past the item room. And having to backtrack all the way to it. I will open this now. Ooh, that's very, very good. Slight bit of damage boost, which is actually pretty awesome. Um, and extra damage to bosses. Although, I don't know if that'll affect our flies, but I hope it does. That's a luck penny, but I'll give you it anyways. I'll let you have it, just because you're you're a cutie. You are chubby, but you also are quite cute, so I'll give you it. What's this dolphin doing? Oh, that hit me? Bullshit. My bad. My health is not good right now. Ah, oh, bloody crab. Thank god we got rid of him quickly. Goddamn hate crabs. Dude! Where the fuck's my item room? Holy shit. It's like a million miles away. That's good. That definitely has a synergy uh, with our flies. And 10% chance. I mean, it's very, very inconsequential. But you can see now we have some green flies in the business. They will uh, inflict poison whenever they... Uh, Touch enemies, which is real nice for us, actually, because that's a pretty big damage boost, potentially. Also, it's turned the inside of our hollow head a tinge of green. Right. Keep this going. Secret room could be here, maybe? Yeah. Um, I'm going to open that, because I think this will level my boy up. Yes! Now that he's leveled up, he's actually useful. Come on, my big hunk of monk. My absolute beast. You will decimate all that stands before us. Look at him go. You can drop bombs on him. He can eat them out. You do all sorts. Look at that. The bombs. You beautiful bastard. Do not give me telepills. Why did I take that? It gave me telepills. You fucker! I, I picked it up, and the fucking moment I picked it up, I was like, that was a terrible decision. The moment I picked it up, I was like, why the fuck did I pick up something that's going to take me set, that's going to make me eat seven pills? Because you know what's going to fucking happen. I'm going to end up taking a telepills. What did it do? If that angel deal isn't open, I am going to be very upset. You absolute prick. God damn it, why did I do that? I could have just taken it after. At least my damage is really good now. Makes shoot better, makes our flies better. We also got a HP up in there as well, so we're up to nine flies potentially now. Yeah, shoop has become, shoop has become very, very good. I don't know what I was aiming at then, but I didn't hit anything. God damn it. As if I missed that goddamn angel deal. I feel like such an idiot. Oh, that's a luck penny. I will take that for my very own. Thank you. My god. Shoop the Whoop is the primary of this run now. Still, I am unbelievably annoyed at myself for that absolutely just ridiculous error on my path. I should have known better. I did know better the moment I picked it up. The moment I picked it up, I knew. I could foresee the error that was about to happen. Why, Bumbo? 
Oh wait, no, I think it's just the guys automatically explode. Wasn't Bumbo. I apologize. We are definitely clearing at alarming speeds now. Bumbo is actually kind of being left by the wayside a little bit. I feel a bit bad for him. I told him he was going to be our saving grace. I told him he was going to be our hero baby. But it turns out... Our hero baby was actually just having a lot of damage and shoot the whoop. Don't take that penny, you fucker. I want at least one. What did I say about Ipecac? What did I say about Ipecac? This, um... This really makes this run quite insane now. Yeah, this really makes this run quite insane now. I can't believe... <laughs> oh lord. This is gonna be absolutely crazy. As if I was like, ooh, Ipecac, like we got in the last run, but that won't happen. Haha. -ha. I was a fool. Like my flies now do like 80 something damage. So and the explode as well, so. Or they can explode at least. They don't all explode. That would be dangerous. Beautiful. Beautiful. But yeah, basically every single synergy item you get gives a chance for a fly to spawn as that synergy style. So sometimes we get default ones, sometimes we get poison ones, sometimes we're gonna get Ipecac poison ones. Gotta remember not to stand right next to enemies. So I'm gonna get myself very hurt doing that. This room's bloody annoying. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We definitely need some more HP though. I am noticing the distinct lack of HP right now is scary. That's one. <clears throat> one room charge shoop is like amazing at the best of times and it's like add on to it the ability to um to do this much damage with a one room shoop. Oh baby. Also, yet again, completely bypassed my item room. Fucking every single goddamn time. Oh, that was close. I almost walked right over the spikes. I would have hated myself had I done that. Weird having Ipecac but not being able to blow up secret room walls with our shots. And of course, that's not the item room either. Has to be the furthest place away, doesn't it? There's no other way. I really hate this. Can you fuck off out the way, big boy? Dude, what the fuck's with this floor? This is an XL floor. Why is my item room so goddamn far away? Right. What is this gonna do? Wait, what? It ruined my damage. Excuse me? Excuse me? Where'd all my damage go? If, it, by the way, if this if this has no synergy and it just ruins my damage, well, to be fair, Puzzle piece. Tammy's head. That didn't even do Ipecac. Yeah, if I don't know if this just ruins my damage and nothing else, I'm just gonna remove Ludo because that's just upsetting. Doesn't seem to do anything. 
Yeah, let's just remove it. Just why? Why ruin the fun of this high damage by Luda doing nothing? I thought it might have like a bespoke synergy, something interesting where you could like control the flies, but it doesn't seem to do anything of the sort. It just seems to. I don't even know why. Why would it get rid of your damage like that? Like, what's 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 the deal there? What's the deal, game? What's the deal? Right, keep her going. Hopefully we get an angel deal back eventually. Not like we need one, but you can only hope. Now we can see spider mod for how much damage. 176 we're doing with these explosions sometimes. But our basic ones are doing 88 damage. Ow, I can't believe that hit me. That was a Dude, that hit me as oh my god. That was some really good hits you got in there. Fuck you. Oh my god, I'm getting hit like crazy. Okay, please give me a HP up. Can you like give me a HP up, please? A bit taking all my dude. This this is the hungriest fucker I've ever seen. Pay out. What are you doing? Thank you. Finally, wow. That's the hungriest fucker I've ever seen. Yeah, keep it moving. I can't believe my Shoop the Whoop does 88.4 damage as well. Beach creep. You just don't know, no. Oh my god, we went to the item room first. But yeah, I, I think we might end up honestly dying on this run just due to my own stupidity of hurting myself constantly. Because that so far has been the main way. I mean, I am just taking some generally bad damage as well. It's kind of scary, every room. It's like having, do you, know what it is? do you know what it feels like? It feels like having the old Locust of War before it got um, fixed with its blast radius. Before the Locust of War just used to like explode like Ipecac explosions and hit you all the goddamn time. Dude. I can't believe you, Bumbo. Did you see what he did then? He threw out a bomb at pretty much the exact same time that chest paid out with a bomb. Mi can't believe that hit me. Making it look like the bomb was a pickup when it wasn't. Cheeky little fucker. We got an angel deal. Oh, we got delirious. Fuck you. We get an angel deal and this is what you give me? How dare you, game? How dare you? Anyways, down to the next floor. Not feeling overly confident on our rates of survival at the moment, because we're going to start taking full heart damage here, and uh, I'm getting hit a lot. Just the blast radius is just so much more crazy than you'd expect. I've really got to get the hell out of the way anytime there's going to be an explosion. I'm going to be very, very cautious. That, I don't know if it will work, but could be interesting. It might work with Shoop, actually. Yeah. Go, flies, go. I'll need one of you to latch. Got a soul heart here. Hey, managed to grab it without touching the spikes. I was a bit worried there. Do I have to destroy these poops to get past? I think I do. <laughs> this is just pure insanity. I love it.
pure insanity. And I can have, the thing is as well, I can have up to 13 flies. Oh, dude. My, my little green locust does my damage. I never knew that. That's crazy. And then more HP is good for us, and that means we can get up to 15 locusts. Uh, well, I won't say locusts. They, they're acting like locusts, but they're actually flies. Up to 15 flies now. That's amazing. <clears throat> Walk in. Let it happen. Leave. All we need... Is one little fly to get in there and do its business. And it's all over, baby. It's all over. This is probably one of the most overpowered sort of runs you can have as the Hollow. I think Ipecac might be one of the strongest items you can get as him. Oh, dude, come on now. See, that's the situations where this, this sucks. Because that enemy was just really close to the door. There was very little I could have done to get out of the way of that. Thank you, Bumba, for taking care of that guy. I guess I'll check in here. Do you know what? It's worth paying this out. We don't need our money anymore. If we can get even one soul heart out of this. I'll be happy. If we can get even one soul... There you go. Okay, we got two in the end. Pretty happy with that. Like I said, we don't need our money anymore. This gave us time to generate a bunch of flies too because they do generate pretty slowly we've got 0 0.37 fire rate which means the rate at which we get them back is pretty darn slow oh dude hit by the creep this little pop-up fucker you're gonna be a pain in my ass aren't you we did get a crawl space apparently there. Was that already there when I walked in? Marked. I was thinking let's take it because it'll give us good fire rate and it won't affect anything, I don't think. Ow. I mean, I don't really need bombs, but I guess I'll take them. Right, boss. It is time for Mum to be absolutely a nice. See, to walk in, immediately take damage. Kind of BS. I could do Hush. Why not? Why, why not try Hush? Seems a bit reckless. Hey, more luck pennies. I like that. And item-wise... Um, I think this is probably better because I don't think I need the damage. And then I guess I take Evil Eye, which I don't know if that'll work either. Uh, yeah, I don't think I don't think we need anything else. Not great items there, but yeah, we'll see how this goes. Okay, good damage there, good damage. Bumbo, you can get in there and do your thing. The, the biggest problem, I think, is going to be actually getting our flies to latch. Because for some reason, I've noticed that before, like, 
Some like sometimes your flies just don't really want to do what you want them to do. So far things are going well. The only thing is our, our fly generation speed is pretty low. But when our green a green fella gets on it, it's, it's good stuff. A little green fly. Does really good damage. But yeah, as you can see, our flies aren't really going for the boss right now. They're kind of just hovering around us and generating. We need to kind of scoop in there, get them all to latch on, which puts us at risk of that. Great, he spawned flies at the worst time there. Look at this, my flies are just like, absolutely, they just don't care. He's right there. He's so close to us. Just just latch onto him and fly at him. He's the only goddamn enemy in the room. What is tough about this? What is tough about this? Hit him. Oh my god, it's your only objective. Oh, but these guys, these guys that don't matter, oh yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll hit them in a heartbeat. This is infuriating. Making the fight way harder than it has to be because I have to move around a ton because my flies won't goddamn hit him. And the little fucker keeps going underground as well. Doesn't help. Stop going underground, you prick. I can't. I can't do anything right now. He just keeps going underground. It's such bullshit. Right, we got him. We got him. Wait, I thought we had him. Okay, there you go. We got him. Fuck's sake. Goddamn hate that. Just latch onto the boss. It's the only goddamn enemy in the entire room. Right, health obviously is not good. Oh, I was hoping that we'd get a soul heart. We got one. I just need to not lose it now. Just gotta not lose it. Tinted rock, I see you, I see you. Oh, beautiful. Okay, we're rebuilding. It's not all bad. It's not all doom and gloom, people. It's not all doom and gloom. I think the not uh, little whip thing does our damage as well, then, because it did a lot there. I realise Bumbo could give me stuff, but right now, I'm not concerned about my fat little boy. He is. He has been somewhat useful. But he did try to kill me with a bomb earlier, and he also spawned a troll, uh, like a large troll bomb on me, so can't exactly trust him. I'm not using shoot very much either. Magician. I doubt that does much for us, but... Keep it there, I guess. Boss, we're at though. Peach creep, you're trying your best, my little gal. You're trying your best. You're, uh... Oh my god. What you're giving to this run isn't a lot, but I, I respect the effort. Beautiful. Not really what I wanted to see there, another eternal heart, but oh well. Right, what do our items give us? Let's find out. Fire mind, interesting. Got lanky mushroom as well here, which is funny. Got hit upon walking into that room, which is not so funny. Ah, oh, bullshit! I wasted my goddamn thing on this guy. But we we have we have actually got some fire mind fight um. Fire mind boys in there now. You can see the little red guys. 
which will create fires. I don't know if they'll create fires and explosions. As if we got Firemind Ipecac again, though. What's going on? No, they don't create fires, but they do explode. This room is very treacherous for me yet. Kind of felt that coming. Beelzebub, baby. Um, upon using this card, this card will become undroppable and cannot be swapped out. While holding the card, all item rooms will be uh, a more options item room. Using the card will remove it again. That's a really interesting idea. Um, not that we can use it now, but generally just a really interesting idea. There's a chest that spawned in here. Wiggly boy. Join the crew. Oh, wait, Beelzebub. Pretty good. All the flies are now ours. Certainly helps. We didn't get any other way of generating flies, actually, did we? That's another thing that's very good for this character. Any other way of generating flies. Flies, do you want to, like, do your business and, like, kill things, please? There's so many enemies left. Thank you. Uh, no, do not take Shard of Glass. Ooh, also, flight is quite nice here. Didn't think about how good flight would be. No shard of glass for me, thank you. My goodness. Boss, where art thou? Ooh, that's really, really good. That gives us a penny heart. So now we can go pick up a single penny and that will block a hit. It's basically like a holy mantle that we can charge with pennies. It's very, very good when you have low HP. Because there's always money about. It gives us a greed heart, essentially. It's awesome. For a trinket, it's like incredibly powerful. I think it should just be an item. A really, really insanely good trinket. Especially if you have any way of generating money, then you can get it multiple times a room. Really? See, that's why we wanted it, because bullshit like that. This guy does have multiple phases, so we can't just absolutely decimate him. But we can mostly decimate him. Decimated. No void for us, thank you. We are going to do Mega Satan. I'm very much like a penny first, though, to keep that locked in. I use my Magician card. I have no idea if that have any bearing on anything, but I will do it. We have a few pennies lying back over there. There we go. Lovely. Right, Mega Satan, it's time. Don't know if we'll survive this, I'll be honest. I'm basically mainly worried that um, our flies aren't going to latch again. But we shall see if they do or don't. I'm reckoning it's going to be mainly don't. Of course, as well, our fly is going to take a long time to generate too, which is going to slow things down once the initial wave is dead. This guy's going to be kind of a pain, actually. Oh, my worm guy? Okay, my worm guy must be doing a portion of my damage because he kills things pretty damn quick. He does like 30 damage. Oh, that was a very good bomb there, my guy. Yeah, as you can see, things have drastically slowed down now. Now 
not, we're not generating flies like crazy. Unfortunately, Bumbo isn't generating any coins anymore either, so we're not going to get any HP back. Spawning mini bosses. No issue. Flies. Go after him, please. He's right there. He's the only enemy here, god damn it. Frustrates the hell out of me that. I wish that bug. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna call it a bug. I wish that got fixed at some point. Someone made a mod that sorted that out. The flies range of like aggro. It's just silly. Like it even when I'm here, my fly should be going for him. He's the only thing in the room. I shouldn't have to get a point blank range to make my flies attack him. Oh, bollocks. Because I have to get so close to him, this has all gone very pear shaped. Like, I don't know if I'm going to be able to live through this because my flies just aren't going to attack him. I also can't bop my bombs towards him because I don't have tears. I'm trying my best, but attacks like this wig me the hell out. Yeah, we got him. Just about. Just about. Holy. Anyways, that was a really entertaining run as the Hollow. As I said, they get crazy later on, but they're kind of shit early. Either way, I hope you guys did enjoy that one, and I'll see you guys in the next one.